today is January 19th, 2022, and it's my half birthday. So today marks the countdown. I officially have less than six months left as a teenager. How does it feel no longer being a teenager? Um, it feels like weird, cause like people like tell me that I'm like twenty, and it does not, it does not feel like it. Uh, and then like, uh, I also feel like I have a lot more responsibility. So, uh, with with after one year, uh, it doesn't feel much different, but maybe into time. I'll notice some differences. What do you think your life will be like at 40? Big. And uh, I'll probably have kids. Um, I guess I hope to have, by that time, a wife. And uh, who knows if a kid will be in the works. Um, They'll be running around the house. They'll be they'll be pink. They'll have green pants. They'll be running around the house at supersonic speeds. What are their names? Um, Bimblor and Spaginkalo. Hopefully, I'll have a job right then. Have most of, I guess, my life figured out somewhat. Just kind of doing what I know, which would be job and provide for the fam. So. They hit each other in the exposed brain cells. Um, what have you gotten better at since you were 13? Manipulating women to my will. No, wait, don't use this, don't use this to cancel me, hold on. Uh, I think I've gotten better at communicating with people. Um, I've always kind of been a bit of... I've done my introvert ways of just being comfortable of living, 
just kind of doing my own thing. Um, as I've at least gone into college, I've uh, I at least like branched out and actually went out to meet people and stuff. So I say I've improved on my communication skills. Woo, 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 woo. Woo. I want to see the I want to see the sound waves <laughs> on that when we're done. If you want, I'm pregnant. <laughs> All right. Can I see the question? Maybe you should be maybe you should be Jane in this, and then I'll just respond as Miguel. You recording? Shit. Are you ready to be 20 tomorrow? Ready? No. Because when you think digits. about it, yeah, you're a, uh, you can say, well, as of tomorrow, I can say I'm in my 20s, and that just doesn't sit well with me. Like, I've been, really I've been a, a, a child or a teenager my whole life, and now I'm 20. I'm, this is, this is the, the, the downfall of my life. It only gets worse from here, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. Kid, it's how does it feel to be 20? It's his birthday. Dude, I'm on my last limb it's, here. It's Kid's birthday. 
Dude, Rex Orange County song. song came out on my birthday, though. Whoa. Can I open a window? Can somebody open a door? There's so many reasons I can barely take it anymore. So can I open a window? Can somebody open the door? There's so many reasons I can't possibly take it anymore. Could I open a window? Can somebody open the door? There's so many reasons I can barely take it anymore. No. Hey, she what the fuck? Niggas feeling stuck, really feeling stuck. Like the middle car on freeway pile up with semi trucks. Open door, but you can't. Try to run, but you can't. Out of breath, you can't vent. Cause the AC acting up. Nah, really, it's something feeling dirty to me. At the roots like a tree. See, I just up and I leave. It ain't pertaining to me. I don't engage, I don't curve. Right? Like you get it, I'm like, yeah, get the fuck out of her. See, I concur. I'm modest. I'm Tyler, I'm honest. I never bite my tongue, it's for the better. I promise, you stuck. They move because I'm running like sinus. I lose, they quiet like that last it's the March compilation. It's the March compilation. There's so many reasons I can barely take it anymore. No. Are you ready to no longer be a teen? Yeah. Um, been a teen for a long time, so <laughs> I'm ready to get past that. I haven't really thought about it much, but, you know. No. Um, I think especially in this day and age with COVID and whatnot, I don't think there's really a good, I wouldn't say a good transition, but, like, a noticeable one. Um, let's do just suicide. Um... Honestly, no, like, uh, I swear to God, two years ago, I was literally, like, 14, and now I am 19. Now I'm technically an adult, and I've been an adult for about almost two years. We're still at the age range where we're considered teens, but, I mean, to the people older than us, we're adults now, but we've never really made any decisions that would be classified as adults. On the other hand, yes, I am ready to continue to, uh, guess not, I guess be an adult and not be a child, if that makes any sense. Uh, it Sometimes when I go out and I do errands, it just feels really good because it's like, wow, I did that by myself, independent of my parents or anybody above me or anything like that, so. It's weird to think that we're already, like, almost one, f or almost one half of the college, I guess, experiences done the first 17 years of my life were excruciatingly slow not excruciatingly i enjoyed it uh, i really liked it but you know since 
since I turned 18, it's just been like a, you know, I just kind of blinked and I'm here sitting on this couch at 19, almost 20. I'm very proud uh, just of how much I, 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 I've been able to grow. Um, I used to be a very close-minded, hateful individual um, uh, because I used to be part of a, a very uh, occult-like church that taught really, obviously, fucked up things. Just, I guess just growth as a whole, like seeing the development as of when a wee lad to a teen is definitely a good thing, and I feel like a lot of people could say the same thing because, I mean, you're developing, so, yeah. I'm proud of, this is, this happened really recently, but uh, just like how I've adapted at college, um, I was kind of a slacker in high school. Um, in terms of regrets, the first half of high school, probably the whole thing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Second half of high school, I, I tweak a few things. I tweak a few things, just how I interacted with people in general. I probably have studied more, too, but... Um, I may be, I may, and, and he won't be like, oh, I regret this, I regret that, but if I am able to holistically think about it and have a holistic approach, no, there's, there's nothing I regret. I, I wouldn't be the Malik that I am now if I didn't make some of the decisions or didn't have some stuff done to me from in the past. <laughs> When I was a, I was an awkward kid. I was an, I was honestly like, dummy awkward until I was like seventeen. I think I turned seventeen and I finally learned how to interact with people. Um, but now I'm good at it. I think hopefully. Um, yeah, I don't know. My uh, my whole my whole charm, charisma, my whole my whole thing, you know, kind of kind of happened at seventeen. Before that, I was a uh, I was a mess. So I've gotten better at just realizing these crazy things about life that you think would be very, very obvious, but um, you only really realize when you get older. Nothing is, nothing is promised. Nothing, N nothing at all. Everything is, everything's up to chance, and that's horrifying. But yeah, I'll say that I've gotten better at that, realizing all these things about adult life and just life in general. What do you think your life at forty will look like? Hopefully, oh geez, <laughs> hopefully I'll be a physician, I'll be married, uh, I want to have kids, so that. In Hollywood or um, Atlanta or Quebec, uh, one of the major film places, whatever, doing stuff, um, I imagine that uh, uh, the <laughs> Pat and, Pat's children and my children be playing together. Or whatever, and we'll be still working on shit. Uh, still, still chilling with my boy Pat, of course, on the weekends because Saturdays are for the boys. Um, but you know, and I still want to be doing all my hobbies. I don't want medical school and marriage and family life to take that away from me, like guitar. Like I am who I am right now. I'm not gonna change really that much. And with that, um, I mean, that could obviously be a good thing or a bad thing, but. Uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. I, I want to I wanna have a balanced life and a lot of money for being a doctor. Hopefully stable income. And no student loans. Yeah. Facts. All right. One week. Are you ready? Uh, it's, it hasn't hit me yet. I'm being honest. I mean, because I'm not 20 yet, but even, it doesn't feel like it's in one week. Yeah. Like, I feel like when I'm hit 20, I'll be like, I guess I'm a year older, but it doesn't feel like it, so I don't know. Not really, I, I, I don't know, not, not necessarily. I, I can't really give a straight answer.
lot of things about life um, that you don't realize when you're younger because, you know, your parents, they're, you frame them in your mind as these superheroes because they, they, they fed you, they wiped your ass, they, 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 make your, they make your doctor's appointments, they'll make you food eat or whatever. So you kind of see, you don't see them as human, right? You see them as superhuman until you get older and you realize that they have emotions too. You know, that they're human too, so they have their own flaws too. Um, and I guess what I'm trying to say is just realizing that adult life is fu it's, it's, it's crazy. It's, 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 it's fucking insane. Um, nothing is guaranteed. Nothing. You, you think, you grow up and you think your parents have it all put together because you're, you're just following them. But then you realize, no, they really don't. I mean, they have a plan, but plans always go wrong. Hello, I am Jack Dwyer, and I am 47, I believe, still. Are you ready to have a son who's 20? Oof. No, that sounds crazy. I can't even believe he's a teenager instead of my sweet, sweet little boy. Yes and no. I am... Uh, can't believe that he is going to be leaving his teen years in a couple weeks, um, but at the same time, it's exciting to see him grow into an adult. What do you wish you had done as a teenager? Hmm. I wish I had more fun at college. I studied a little too hard. I worked hard. I got to work on army stuff. At 20? Yeah, because like, so the summer between sophomore and junior year, I went to airborne school, although I hurt my knee, so I never finished. And the summer between junior and senior year, I went to advanced camp. I was 18 yeah. and 19, so half of my college experience. Live, laugh, and loved more than I did already. Amazing. What do you wish I had done as a teen? Hmm. He did it all. I don't know. Um, you, Patrick, has been a pretty awesome teenager. I've been very lucky. Would have been great if you could have gotten a film internship last year. Or maybe done theater, even though I think you think it's not related at all to movie making. Um, and also maybe be a professional athlete. That would be cool. I actually wish you had gotten outside more and been a typical young man, teenage boy, you know, riding the ATVs and motorcycles and... A man's man? A man's man. How much of who you are as a person now do you think was there at 20? And you can give a percentage if it helps.
I'm going to say 68%. At 20, I was, gosh, in my junior year of college, and I was focusing on my major. So I was laser focused on graduating and what that next step was going to be like. So again, focusing mostly on school and not much on the socializing part. Um, I thought I knew I wanted to be, I thought I wanted to be a teacher and I wanted kids That's as much as I knew, but I didn't know that I wasn't going to become a teacher per se, that I was going to go a different lane and go to grad school. So that was surprising and uh, just was very devoted to my faith and going to church. So that was a big part of my 20s. The values and building block I had by 20 were really important, even though a lot of life experience like living in Europe and going to Iraq and having kids was not. What do you think my life at 40 will look like? What do I think it will look like or what do I hope it will look like? Um, I hope it'll involve kids because I would like some grandkids. I think you'll be very successful in your career, um, probably behind the camera in some aspect, whether it's creating content or you know directing it or a combination. I think you'll stick with the, the media. I'm glad you said 40 because I only feel 40. Um, yeah, the yeah, pace of technology and discontent in the world scare me for what the next 20 years you look like but my guess is you will be very successful at what you end up doing and hopefully be married to some nice girl yeah just a stable relationship I don't think you're a relationship hopper type of person I think you you know you're in it for the long haul and um, slow and steady runs the race but uh, I'd hope I'd hope you'd stay around here. I wouldn't go to like one of the coasts. But um, again, that's my hope. I'm not quite sure. Any other wisdom? Hmm. Don't get married at 22. Some of the best advice I got was from my ROTC professor in college, which was do the right thing. So whether somebody's there with you or not, sometimes it might be hard, but make the hard do the hard right over the easy wrong just live in the moment and enjoy those that you're with and your surroundings never miss a chance to hug the people you love and tell them you love them because I don't know the older you get the crazier you realize the world is and that tomorrow's not really guaranteed
me. This feels more divisional than turning 18. The break between teenager and non, it's kind of scary. But, you know, I, I don't want this to come off as whiny because it's like, oh, this 20 year old is like, oh, I'm getting old. It's not even a midlife crisis. It's like a one fourth life crisis if I live to 80, which I hope happens, but maybe not. Maybe this will play at my funeral after my car crash in my 30s. I realized today when a friend posted about it that I am in my second to last summer break. I have one now before my junior year and I have one next year before my senior year. And after that, it's just life. I just have to exist, get a job. Am I ready to not be a teenager? I feel like this whole thing implies no, but you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of ready in some ways. Grow up in some regards, but in many ways I'm scared to be an adult, I guess. Did I have goals to accomplish before 20? Not really. Um mostly more growing my resume, portfolio sort of stuff, which I thankfully have done a little bit in my teens. Malik and I had this great opportunity to go down to Lockport and shoot some stuff, be extras mostly. I, I shouldn't lie to you, we were extras, that's all we did. But it was cool, they, they had solid equipment up there. Um, and that was a cool set to see because it was one of the first major sets I've been on outside of something I've been doing. Um, so that was a good opportunity. Do what you can. If if somebody offers you something and you don't have a really good reason to say no, look into it. Try to do it. That's my advice. I thought it was a wonderful experience. Uh, I, it took a long. It was it was very grueling. This is why I think multiple cameras are the way to go because we could have cut it in half if we had multiple. Well, cameras. that was also their operation. Okay, but, but no, like I'm. What I'm saying is like, like I, I imagine that they didn't have the facilities for a multiple camera operator, which is fine. Like, I'm not saying that they're broke as fuck. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So please, I don't, I don't come no. across like that. I seem okay. like a disingenuous bitch. I will. But you think one camera, like, given the choice, one camera or multiple camera, like, you have other people to delegate. For me? Yeah. One. You're, you're fucking insane. You're right, I am. At the light, turn left no onto other man, I'd rather work well. To summarize, I'm thankful. I'm lucky. I did stuff, but I didn't do everything. We can't be expected to do everything. I could have been expected to do maybe a little more, but I took most of the opportunities that came my way. The ones that made sense. I'm not doing theater, Dad. I don't want to do theater. I'm sorry. You know, yeah, it, it makes you think, like, maybe I don't have to accomplish everything by my age, but, like, Sam Raimi was 20 when he was directing Evil Dead, and uh, Khalid was 18 when he wrote 18. So, I mean, there's certainly people, and in, in our age, it's easy to do great things when you're young, because the technology has really evolved. But, you know, I've, I've wondered, what have I done? You know, what should I be doing more? That's it. That's all I got.
is always showing me the way Lead the way Your love seems to cut me deep The sharpest You'll always have a part of me A part of me Losing you has always been the hardest I wish it were the whole day Cause I was 18 And I still live with my parents Yeah, they Today is July 1st.
Thanks for watching.